Hey there, Bulls and Bears. It is Friday, July 9th, 2021. You're watching Bull, Boom, Bear, Bust. My name is JJ. I'm going to try to get up all the, get out all the biggest stories from this week. We're going to talk about the Wells Fargo cutting off their personal lines of credit. Uh, what may be behind that that the media is not telling you. And also, just as we predicted, now that the economy is reopening in many states completely back to normal, uh, credit card debt has again resumed, and this was the biggest jump in credit card debt that we've ever seen on record. Right again, no surprise to anyone that's been following this channel. We did see credit card debt drop during the shutdowns, but a lot of that was because people weren't able to spend. So normally people love to go out and spend even on luxury items and things they don't need to survive, like vacations, of course, traveling, amusement parks, hotels. And even just shopping was restricted in many areas as many stores, including malls, were closed down for a while. So we're going to get into that and a lot more. Let's start right here. Now, first of all, out of Yahoo Finance, new record highs in stocks. Once again, we've got the Dow Jones at 34,870. And oil still, still very high, $74.67. So not much of a price break if you're looking for gas prices to go down. Well, let's talk about this lines of credit, Wells Fargo ending lines of credit. What is behind that? Well, the articles I was able to find were very vague as to the reasons behind it. They typically, you look at banks and you know that they have endless liquidity via the Fed or the Fed can just come in and monetize the debt or take the loans off the books of the banks via purchases of, of these assets or securities. So why would there be any discretion in lending or lines of credit? Now, first of all, these were credit lines that range typically between $3,000 and $100,000. And in many cases, these were used to consolidate higher interest rate debt, like credit card debt, for example. Now, we'll have to see if this expands to different banks but so far, it's just Wells Fargo that's announced this. And Wells Fargo described this as a product that didn't have a very good profit ratio. But it could also be something else that they're not going to tell you. It could mean that people were taking money and spending it on things that the banks didn't want you to spend it on. Think digital assets. Also think hard assets, gold and silver, were people taking out loans. And because these were non-secured loans... Were they then going out and purchasing, you know, a bunch of metals? You know, who knows? But again, these articles that I found were very, very vague as to the reason behind it. But we'll have to see if other banks start following suit. Now, this is the opposite of what you would expect to happen in an economy that they're trying to make look like it's recovering, right? Normally, when you want to make the economy look like it's recovering, you're going to increase the loans, increase the debt. And we know that the spending and the higher debt makes it look like the economy is doing good because we look at consumer spending in many cases. Uh, one of the bigger indicators as far as what they tell us means that the economy is doing good. All right now, also, Wells Fargo has seen a lot of uh, legal actions taken against them. Now, it's typically just resulted in Wells Fargo pays a fine, which is usually a fraction of the profits that they made through their bad practices in the first place. So it's really no big deal. Um, could there be something bigger going on? We'll have to see. I checked multiple sources and there's not much more information other than what I was able to give you here today, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it and let you know as soon as I find something out on it. Now, let's take a look at this chart right here. Consumer credit, also known as debt. You have to look at the flip side of credit. See, credit's the word they put out there when they want to make it seem like a good thing. Oh, people took out more credit. Isn't that great? Well, what it is, it's actually more debt. And when you look at the green spike here, this is the biggest jump on record. Now, of course, we see the big drop in consumer spending and credit came here right around the time of the shutdown in uh, March of 2020. But now with the reopening and people getting back to normal, back to normal in the U.S. means people spend money they don't have and rack up a bunch of debt. So a record jump in credit card debt. So no surprise there to you or to anyone listening. And this biggest jump on record had it soar, the amount soared by $35.28 billion. That's billion with a B. Now, the estimate was going to be just $18 billion, So it was nearly double of what the estimate amount was for the jump in debt. 
And also when you look at the previous month credit card spending and people taking on more debt, that increased by 20.04 billion. So this was a huge, huge jump. And we know that the summer's here, more people like to spend and travel. Things are reopening. So a lot of this pent up demand from all, all the people being locked down and shut down. Um, well, that's being shown right now with the biggest jump in credit card debt that we've ever seen. Now, some people say this is terrible. These people are going to be in big financial trouble. Other people, uh, especially the people spending the money and racking up the debt, they're like, well, if we can't pay it back, we'll just file bankruptcy. What's the big deal? It's free money, right? All right. A couple other quick stories here. Let's go back to this labor shortage. Now, we know we see now right now a record number of job openings and companies are getting so desperate for business in some cases that they're no longer testing people for drugs. So Johnny Stoner, he may be driving the forklift down at your local warehouse. Or is Johnny Stoner still at home on the couch? You let me know. All right, and here's an interesting one out of uh, the San Francisco area. Target and Walgreens are closing stores early. This actually came out a few days ago, but someone just sent it to me. Because of thefts, a massive surge in thefts. In broad daylight, people just going in, filling up trash bags full of goods and just leaving the store broad daylight security doesn't try to stop them all right so it's almost like the payouts you see people getting all these free these payouts all this free stuff while if you're the one working you may feel like you're getting uh, the short end of the stick there when people just come in and get all this free stuff the same thing with thefts but it's so bad there in this place known as San Francisco that it's causing these stores to close early now, how bad is it going to get? Are these stores going to pull out of these areas altogether? Now, Target told this website here doing the reporting, quote, for more than a month, we've been experiencing a significant and alarming rise in theft and security incidents at our San Francisco stores, similar to reports from other retailers in the area. And here's one from last month. A lot of you may have already seen this one. Where this guy is, this was put out on Twitter, by the way. This guy is getting on his bike, has a bag full of goods. Looks like he might be in the medication aisle. So he tries to grab his bag. He doesn't stop. He just keeps going. Right out the door. So someone making maybe minimum wage, maybe more, um, whatever. Probably not going to put their life on the line to try to stop somebody. Right, but it's weird. I've seen a couple episodes of cops where the security guards literally jumping on the hood of the car. So I guess it just depends on the security guard. This security guard felt that it wasn't worth it to try to stop this guy. Uh, crazy times, folks. Uh, I think stuff like this is going to continue to spread as we see more and more people fall into poverty. More people have to rely on never-ending credit card spending, uh, credit cards that are put out by banks with never-ending liquidity via the money printer so where does it end you let me know but it's going to get crazier we do know that stay well everybody stay safe stay prepared keep stacking if you like the outro song link down below thanks everybody for your support stay well bye for now peace